Welcome everyone, today we're super thrilled to announce a batch of new features based on large generative models, more precisely on OpenAI's GPT-3 APIs. So first of all, the neural search will now be activated by default because we have found that it has better performance. Secondly, we have a question answering widget based on GPT that takes into account the documents as evidence to answer questions. So for instance, you can ask about, um, you can ask about weather forecasting based on recent papers yeah so this widget will provide question we will provide answers based on the documents and provide them um, as uh, evidence moreover imagine you're looking for machine translation papers from the past three months and you want to know what languages they work on you can now edit this question and ask a question on a per document basis so for instance You can ask about what languages they work on and you will get as a result a table where you have for each document an answer uh, and you can tap on the information to see where the um, where the data is extracted from moreover you can even export this as a csv or save this as a note in your collection then let's say you're using our pdf reader and you don't know what a concept means such as for instance parallel corpora you can select uh, and use the open ai icon button to trigger a search to find more documents on this topic and also see uh, an answer from our uh, question answering system that will explain um, this concept, for instance, parallel corpora are collection of texts in two or more languages that have been aligned sentence by sentence. Finally, imagine you want to know about recent papers on archive from the, the past month ranked by popularity on Twitter. Uh, previously, you could only see this map, um, this map of the papers, but it, it was hard to understand. But now with our explain clusters button, you can generate titles for each one of the clusters so that it's more easy to navigate. For instance, here we have computational physics and optimization and you have a list of the most relevant papers reinforcement learning language understanding multimodal generation 3d reconstruction medical image analysis and graph neural networks and explainability finally is a disclaimer these are all features that that are in active very much in active development um, so we hope to improve them we hope you like these new features and we look forward to see what you can do with them